In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Google Slide presentations more anonymous. And so the way you can do that is by using uh, Google Slides. And in the, when you see where the slideshow button is, normally we just push slideshow and it, it starts to the presentation. But you may have no, not noticed, but there is this drop down menu that you can use and go into presenter view. And when you go into presenter view, you have um, both your presentation and then this additional slide. Um, I'm going to actually uh, switch this over so where I've got um, got two windows here. But normally you do this, you would probably do this when you have like a, a, a smart panel and then your laptop or your other device where you um, are doing the presentation from. And so this would show up on your computer and then this would show up on your, um, on your presentation mode, whatever that would be, uh, most likely a smart panel. And so if I had speaker notes, those would show up right here. What you may not have seen is that right here, it has audience tools. If you click on audience tools, um, now all of a sudden you've got the chance to do an audience Q and A. And so this is like a back channel. So you can start new and now your students will are able to um, ask questions as you're going along in the presentation, um, question something that they may not understand. And you can see that live if you're here, but it also records those and keeps those for you so you can kind of see what people are misunderstanding, what they're not, uh, what they're get getting. Um, you can even have them respond to questions this way as well if you wanted to. Um, and so uh, all the student has to do is either on their phone or on a laptop, they just go to that um, website, that web address. And so I'm going to put that in real quick. Take me just a second here. And I think I got everything there. Yep. And so now um, I can ask a question. So we're going through the, the presentation. I go over the bell work. I go to the next part and I'm talking about advantages and disadvantages between the North and the South. And um, I'm just going to say, how is this an advantage? That's not a very good question, really. But um, just to get so you can see what it looks like. And when the student submits it, one of the options they have is they can ask anonymously. And so it automatically defaults. They'll be logged in with their school credentials. It'll log in and show their name. But there's a little um, button they can press that says ask anonymously. And so I click that and I submit. And so now I still see that the, what the question is. Um, and it's asked anonymously, uh, which is good because maybe they've asked a really good question, but they don't want their name associated with it, but you want to share it. And so I can now present this question right in the middle of the, of the presentation and ask, well, how is this anonymous? Is, is this advantageous? And, and maybe get other students to respond to this and we can discuss this. Um, additionally, I can just see where people are struggling and what's going on and I can respond to that either, either live or um, later uh, in the presentation or afterwards uh, address those issues. And so this is just a really helpful tool for you to make your Google presentations that you've already done, you've already created um, to make them really, they're already interactive. You just have to open up the tool and let your scholars use it. So it's a great tool. I really suggest you use it uh, and let me know if you have any questions.